Well, hello again. This is the Aquaponics Haven. This is Craig coming at you. Um, just going to give you an update on my floating raft system. So, it's doing good. I'm very happy with it. So, here it is. It's, it wasn't planted itself. Maybe that back section over there. But um, you can tell they have really, really grown since the last video. Now, I had some little destruction come in. I had a... <laughs> he ate almost the whole entire plant there. A little bug come in. Grasshopper. But the weather... I didn't turn my heater on in here. And it got down below 30 outside and it got really really cold in here and um I killed that booger and he I hadn't seen no more damage I've checked the plants for for eggs and stuff and haven't seen any but they're really doing good I mean they are just exploding in growth and I'm really excited about that I put these over here so you can see he tore my sweet banana pepper plants up that I'm been growing, trying to get to a to get them outside. But um, anyway, here here is my bed. My tomatoes. Okay, I have harvested um, some cherry tomatoes. I'm still waiting on these bad boys to start turning. But that plant right there, that hang, upside down hanging plant, has just exploded, man, in growth which look at the it's got tomatoes already on it but there's more blooms and it's just I'm and here's my tray of lettuce I've got to do some this is uh, hard to be ashamed of myself even showing it but my carrots are coming along I've got to start um, thinning them down so um, here's my other I have really, really picked from them. Matter of fact, I've got some turning right there, so got more turning. But um, yes, sir, I've got several plants that I'm getting ready to take to my church, and we know that it is fixing. It's fixing. It's planting season time, so I've got about 15 tomato plants that that I've um, started from from cuttings and that I've got good growth. Matter of fact, here's some more right here that I'm letting um, take root, which you can see some root already coming up on that. So, um, so I'm very happy with that. And, um, by another week they should be ready to be stuck in the ground but I've got some broccoli and cauliflower that I'm fixing to plant in this grow bed I'm fixing to add some more rocks to it um it just it still looks a mess I've pulled tomato plants out of that was taking roots and so now I'm just, uh, it, it looks a mess. I'm fixing to do something to it today or tomorrow. But anyway, you can see the the basil just, it's, I've got to harvest some. And um, But here's a broccoli plant there. So anyway, this is my update on my system. So just on, look, there is... This is something that um, I feel like is a is is dear to me of helping elderly people. Now I know there is there's a lot of people there's that are growing stuff for themselves and stuff to to support their family. But um, even in the Bible, it talks about taking care of the widows that can't take care of themselves. You know, so there are people in your community that are really really struggling 
that lives on a fixed income that has nobody there to take care of them, to help them out. So, you know, it wouldn't take much and not much money to build on to your system and just use that part to to grow stuff to help somebody that's in need. And even if you're in the business of making money with aquaponics or hydroponics or whatever, still don't forget about some of the widows and stuff like that. People that are just cannot afford to go out and buy organic vegetables, organic produce and stuff. So just just take it in mind some of those people and try to help them out because it'll come back to you. And my dad always taught me that and I've seen it over the years come back to me by doing good to others. So just just think about it and um, just help one another and that's what it's all about. Then the good Lord will take care of you and I'll talk to you later. It's Aquaponics Haven. Bye.